while hunting in the Jura Mountains in Switzerland in 1941, George de Mestral, a Swiss engineer, noticed tiny hooks of cockleback stuck on his pants and his dog's fur. A curious soul, he wondered how they attached themselves and came up with the Velcro. This unique approach of designing using inspirations from nature later came to be known as biomimetic design. Today, many architects are in awe of biomimetic design, but the term is used so loosely that no one really understands what it is. So in this video, let's uncover exactly that. The term biomimicry was coined in 1997 by Janine Benyus in her book Biomimicry, Innovation Inspired by Nature. The approach focuses on learning from nature to solve functional design challenges and involves radically different thinking approaches and innovations in an otherwise conventional world. The earliest examples of biomimicry are found in Leonardo da Vinci's sketches for flying machines and also in the work of Filippo Brunelleschi who after studying the strength of eggshells designed a thinner, lighter dome for his Florence Cathedral. Much like these, there have been various interesting and out-of-the-box discoveries in architecture based on this technique. Take the Beijing National Stadium, for example, which resembles a bird's nest, or the Eden Project in England, which takes inspiration from the shape of soap bubbles. In architecture, biomimicry helps to achieve sustainability by mimicking nature's genius use of resources, resilience, and adaptation to local conditions. For example, learning from the natural ventilation and shading systems inspired by the way plants regulate their own temperature can lead to reduced energy use in buildings. On similar lines, learning from the indigenous Zimbabwean masonry and self-cooling mounds of African termites, architect Mick Pierce designed the Eastgate Centre, a mid-rise building that has no conventional air conditioning or heating and yet stays regulated year-round. As the world faces issues like climate change and environmental degradation, biobimicry offers hope. Now, one of the modern techniques architects and engineers use to achieve biomimicry is computational design. This is an advanced technique of using data-driven processes to create, optimize and analyze your designs. Computational design is actually an umbrella term which includes techniques like parametric design, generative design, form finding, sustainability analysis, and much more. And if you'd like to learn computational design yourself and create your own biomimetic designs, then log on to oneis2x.com and do check out our master computational design course. We hope you found this video helpful and educational. And for more insights on the world of architecture and design, remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you in the next video.